Namaste everyone. Welcome to the class again. Now here we are going to see few more problems on solutions of linear equations. Now uh, the first problem. Four years ago, Maria was three times old than her daughter. Six years from now, the mother will be twice as old as her daughter. Find their percentage. So we have Maria and her daughter. So let us first present this information in a manner which is more understandable. So I will write Maria and daughter. Now here I have their percentage. Then I have age four year ago. And uh, age six year after. So we have present age, age four year ago. And age six year later. Uh, four years after, I would say. Okay, now we don't know the age of Maria and her daughter. Let us assume that age of Maria, present age. Present age of Maria, let us consider x and daughter as y. Then age 4 year ago will be x minus 4 and this is y minus 4 and age 6 year after it will be x plus 6 and this is y plus 6. Now what is given? He, 4 year ago the Maria was uh, 3 times older than her daughter. So 4 year ago that means this x minus 4, the age of Maria, this is 3 times the age of her daughter. So this is the first condition given. Now let us simplify it. This is x minus 4 is equals to 3y minus 3 4 is 12. So that is x minus 3y is equals to minus 12 plus 4. So x minus 3y is equals to minus 8. I will consider this as equation 1. Then we have more one more equation that 6 here from now the mother will be twice as old as her daughter. So x plus 6, then we have one more condition that is x plus 6 is twice then y plus 6. So here I have x plus 6 is equal to 2y plus 12. That gives me x minus 2y is equal to 12 minus 6 is equal to x minus 2y is equal to 6. Right, this is the second equation. So I have two equations. Now, if I subtract equation 1 from equation 2, so as x has coefficient 1 here, x is coefficient 1 here, I will subtract. So I will say subtract equation 1. From equation 2 we get now um, you can write equation 2 first and equation 1 later that is minus 8 right hmm. x minus 3y is minus 8 and you have to subtract this is your second equation, this is your first equation. When we subtract, this xx will cancel. Here I will get y, here minus will become plus, I will get 14. So the value of y is 14. Now put y is equal to 14 in equation 1. So we have x minus 3y is equal to minus 8. Therefore, x is equal to 3y minus 8 
this minus 3 when it move on right it will become plus 3 by this is 3 into y is 14 minus 8 so this is 42 minus 8 12 minus 8 4 34 okay so therefore i will say therefore percentage of maria is 34 year and Present age of her daughter is 14 years. So, present age of Maria is 34 years and present age of her daughter is 14 years. Done, simple question. Okay. Now, second question uh, the result of uh, dividing a number of two digit number by the number with the digit reverse is 5 by 6. If the digits, if the difference of digit is 1, find the number. Okay, so when I am dividing a number by reversing the digit, okay, then I am getting 5.6. Means the number which I obtained by reversing is greater. Yes, it is clear from this. The number obtained by reversing is greater. Okay, so I will say let x be the digit at a unit place and y b unit or y b digit at at tens place okay whenever we have given two digit number this is how we assume the digit at unit place and ten place so therefore the number is now at tens place i have y so i will multiply y with 10 and i will add so this is my number and uh, the number obtained by reversing the digit When I reverse the digit, I get number as so x is replaced by y, y is replaced by x. I will get 10x plus y. Okay, now this is the number obtained by reversing the digit. Now it is given that if I divide the number by the number with digit reversed is 5 by 6, that means 10y plus x divided by 10x plus y is equals to 5 divided by 6. Now here I will simplify. I have 6 into 10. 10 6 are 60. 60 y plus 6 x is equals to 50 x plus 5 y. So therefore I get 60 plus um, I will bring everything on the left hand side. So I have 60x minus 60y minus 5y is 55y minus 55x is equals to I will get 0. So 55y minus 55x is 0 that gives me y minus x is 0. If the result uh, the result of uh, dividing the numerator of two digit number by the number with digit reverse is 5 by 6. So 10y plus x divided by 10x plus y is 5 by 6. So here what I got 60y plus 6x is equal to 50x plus 5y. So when I move everything on the left side 60 minus 5 is 55y and 6x minus 50 okay okay here i am doing something wrong 6 minus 50 is not 55 okay it is this is not 55 now right 6x minus 50x 6x minus 50x is 
44x. So this is 44x is equal to 0. So I will take uh, 11 common. So here I get 5y minus 4x is equal to 0. So therefore 5y minus 4x is 0. What it indicates 5y minus 4x is 0. That is 5 times y is equal to 4 times x. So that is x is greater than y. Here what I understood that x is greater than y. Now, the second condition is given if the difference of digit is 1. Difference of digit is 1 means x minus y. This is my equation 1. And second is given that x minus y is equal to 1. This is my second equation. Now, as we have 5y and here we have minus y and here we have minus 4x and here we have only x. What I will do? I will multiply this second equation by 4 and then add. So I will say multiply multiply equation 2 by 4 and add. So when we multiply by 4, I have 5y minus 4x is 0. Here it will be minus 4y plus 4x is equal to 4. Now I am adding. So I get y. This will cancel. Here I have 4. So the value of y is 4. Value of x put y is equal to 4 in equation x minus y is equal to 1. x minus y is equal to 1. So I will put y is equal to 4. I get x minus 4 is equal to 1. That gives me the value of x is 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. So the value of x is 5. Now I got x is 5. y is 4. So therefore the given number is therefore the required number is Now my required number is 10y plus x. 10 into y that is 4 plus x. So this is 45. So 45 is my required number. Third question, if the numerator and denominator of a fraction are increased by 2 and 1 respectively, it becomes 3 by 4. If the numerator and denominator are decreased by 2 and 1 respectively, it becomes 1 upon 2, find the fraction. So I will say in solution that let the fraction be x upon y. Now what is given? If uh, the numerator and denominator of fraction are increased by 1 that is uh, 2 and 1 that is x plus 2 upon y plus 1 I will get 3 upon 4. So let us simplify this is 4x plus 8 is equal to 3y plus 3. So this gives me 4x minus 3y is equal to 3 minus 8. 3 minus 8 is minus 5. So this gives me 4x minus 3y is equal to minus 5. 4x minus 3y is equal to minus 5. This I will consider equation 1. Now next they have given that if the numerator and denominator are decreased by 2 and 1. So when I decrease also I will say also x minus 2 upon y minus 1 is 1 upon 2. When I decrease by 2 and 1 respectively, I will get 1 upon 2. So here again I will cross multiply, I will get 2x minus 4 is equal to y minus 1. So this gives me 2x minus y is equal to minus 1 plus 4. So this gives me 2x minus y is equal to 3. This is my second equation. So I have equation 1 4x minus 3y is equal to minus 5 and second we have 2x minus y is equal to 3. So what I will do? I will multiply equation 
2 by 3 so that I will have minus 3 by and then uh, I will subtract I will subtract equation 1 from that equation. So let us multiply equation 2 by 3. I will say multiply equation 2 by 3. Okay. So here I will get 3 to the 6x minus 3y is equal to 3 to the 9. This is my third equation. Now I will subtract equation 1 from equation 3. So I will say subtract equation 1 from 3. So equation number 3 is 6x minus 3y is equal to 9 and equation 1 is 4x minus 3y equal to minus 5. So I have to subtract. This is third equation, this is first equation. Sign will change. As I am subtracting, 6x minus 4x is 2x. This will cancel. Here, 9 plus 5 is 14. So, this gives me the value of x as 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So, the value of x is 7. Put, I will put x is equal to 7 in equation, put in any, any of the equation, put x is equal to 7 in equation, let us say in equation 1. So, what is my equation 1? It is 4x minus 3y is minus 5, 4x minus 3 or in equation 2, put it in equation 2. Equation 2 is 2x minus y is 3, 2x minus y is 3, that is 2 into 7 minus y is 3, so that is 2 7 the 14 minus 3 is equals to y, this implies y is equals to 11, the value of y is 11, right, so therefore the fraction, I need to write the fraction, therefore the required fraction is 6 upon y, the value of x is 7 upon 11. It is very easy to convert whatever given in word form to the equation form, isn't it? Okay, let us see the next question. Find the fraction which become 1 upon 2 when denominator is increased by 4 and is equal to 1 by 8 when the numerator is diminished by 5. Okay. So, again, what do you say? You say that let the fraction is x upon y. Now, find the fraction which become 1 upon 2 when denominator is increased by 4. So, x upon y plus 4 is 1 upon 2. So, therefore, this implies 2x is equal to y plus 4. This implies 2x minus y is equal to 4. This I will say equation 1. When the denominator is increased by 4, it is equal to 1 upon 8. So, uh, find the fraction which become 1 upon 2 when the denominator is increased by 4 and is equal to 1 upon 8 when the numerator is diminished by 5. Also, x minus 5 upon y is 1 upon 8. So, this implies 8x minus 8 phi the 40 is equal to y. So, this implies 8x minus y is equal to 40. Second equation. Now, first equation is 2x minus y is 4. Fourth equation is 8x minus y is equal to 40. So, I will subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So, first I will write equation 2 that is 8x minus y is 40 and then I write equation 1 that is 2x minus y 
if equals to 4, then I subtract. So 8x minus 2x is 6x. This will cancel. Here I subtract 40 minus 4 is 36. So this gives me x is equals to 6. Now I substitute this value of x in any of the equation. So let us put it in the equation 1. So put x is equals to 6 in equation 1. So what is equation 1? It is 2x minus y is 4. 2x minus y is 4 that is 2 into 6 minus y is 4 that is y is equals to 12 minus 4 is equals to 8. x is 6 y is 8 so therefore the required fraction is x upon y that is 6 upon 8. Now as per the condition if I uh, first condition was that um, it become 1 upon 2 when denominator is increased by 4. So when denominator is increased by 4 it will become 8 plus 4 12. So 6 upon 12 is 1 upon 2 and when numerator is diminished by 5. So 6 minus 5 it will become 1 1 upon 8. So 6 upon 8 is the required fraction. If I decrease it means if I simplify it I will get 3 upon 4. Now if I say that uh, if denominator is increased, now if the denominator is increased by 4, it will become 4 plus 4, 8, 3 upon 8. So then it will not be 1 upon 2. So better I will not reduce it. I will say that the required fraction is 6 upon 8. The ratio of 2 number is 2 upon 3. The ratio of 2 number is 2 upon 3. If 2 is subtracted from the first and 8 is from the second, the ratio become the reciprocal of the original ratio find the numbers. Okay. So again, let the two numbers be x and y. So the ratio of two numbers be 2 upon 3. So let I will say let x upon y is 2 upon 3. If 2 is subtracted from the first, and 8 from the second. So if 2 is subtracted means x minus 2 and 8 from the second that is y minus 8. The ratio becomes reciprocal of the original so it will become 3 upon 2. We have to find the value of x and y. So this first equation will give me 3x equal to 2y. Okay, this I will consider equation 1. I can simplify it further means instead of considering that as equation 1 what we do I will write that it in the form so this implies right so this implies 3x minus 2y is equal to 0 this I will say equation 1 now here also okay now cross multiply we have 2x minus 4 is equals to 3y minus 24. So this implies 2x minus 3y is equals to minus 24 plus 4. So this implies 2x minus 3y is equals to minus 20. 2x minus 3y is minus 20. Now what I will do? Uh, we have to make a coefficient of x or y common. So if you see this equation 1 and 2, I have to multiply this 1 by 3 and this 2 by 2. So multiply equation 1. By 3. So when I multiply it by 3, I have 9x minus 6y is 0. 9x minus 6y. Is 0 okay by 3 I will not use this bracket okay this is my third equation and multiply 
equation 2 by 2. So, I will get 4x minus 6y is equal to minus 40. This is equation 4. Now, I subtract equation 4 from equation 3. Subtract equation 4 from 3. So, I will subtract equation 4 from 3. Here, I have 9x minus 6 by 0. Here, I have 4x minus 6y minus 40. So, when I subtract, sign will change. Here, I have 5x, it will cancel. Here, I have 40. So, this implies x is equal to 8. The value of x is 8. x is 8. Now, I got x 8 and uh, to get y, I will put it in equation 1. So, put x is equal to 8 in equation, I will say in equation 1. So, what is equation 1? Equation 1 is 3x minus 2y is 0. So, 3x 3x minus 2y is 0. So, therefore, 24 minus 2y is 0. This gives 2y is equal to 24. This gives y is equal to 12. So, the question is the ratio of two numbers and I have to find the numbers. So, therefore, the two numbers are 8 and 12. So, therefore, the two numbers are 8 and 12. These are the two numbers. Two numbers are 8 and 12. Right? Okay. So, these are few questions. Okay. Hope it is clear. Right? Thank you.